Don't you worry about it. Love me. Guys, good morning. We're here at the boardwalk. I was just doing some searching. Whoa, hi, there I am. I just realized that my sunglasses in the car last night, and the car is like a bajillion miles away. So I think we're gonna go blind into the parks. Dang, I don't see him anywhere. Anyway, good morning. Hope everyone's doing fantastic. Happy to see you here. We're here at Disney's. Boardwalk Resort. We did a live stream from here yesterday. If you missed it, go check it out. Uh, we did an in-depth room tour as well as a in-depth resort tour and the whole boardwalk. And we're going to walk from here right into the International Gateway. That's the back entrance of Epcot for our early access. They open the park to us at 8.30 and the general public at 9. So we got about 10 to 12 minutes before the park opens and it's about a, less than a 10 minute walk, about a 10 minute walk. So we should get there right on time. And I'm going to be blind. Uh, we'll say hi to the chat as we're walking, but real quick, good morning to everybody who's here early and on time. Uh, Robert D, the Tomorrowland Traveler, Jamie Philippone, Glenn Ritchie. Uh, love to see everybody in here chat and having a good time this morning. Deputy Disney, good morning. Lynette is here. Uh, what else we got going on? Who's here? Armbandito, great to see you, my man Nelson in the house. Penny B is here. Said hi, everyone. Always love a stroll through my favorite park in the early morning. Absolutely. Avery, great to see you. Good morning. I know Avery likes the morning streams. Shelly, good morning. Great to see you. All right. I think we're going to head in. Hi, Susan. Happy to have you here. Steve Marmelstein, what's happening? Gan, good morning. I love all these early risers. David D loves Disney. Me too. Hi, David. Matthew Kent, good morning. Alyssa, great to see you. Mr. Dave is here. Love seeing all this chatter in the morning. Good morning, Kelsey, Mark Mueller, Rebecca Dolan. What's going on? I know, Rebecca, I could wear the hat like this. Rock the Adventures by Carney, try to block some of the sun. That's what we'll do. We'll wear the hat like, I guess, a civilized human being. Can't be my hardcore. All right, let's get out of here. Let's have some fun. All right, I'm saying goodbye to Lauren. Enjoy some Disney TV for one second. Bye, Lauren. All right, we're off and running. There's our view. Lauren got an awesome uh, video. Well, we're going to turn this around for now just because it's weird. I have a whole thing, but let's head out. So, Lauren got some awesome video of Harmonious last night from the room while uh, I was over at work. There we go. Much better. Hopefully, we don't lose too many of you. We lost service in the hallway before. If that ever happens again, just hit refresh. But, uh, yeah, I had to work last night. So as soon as I finished the stream, I only had like 15, 20 minutes to hang out with Lauren. And then I had to get dressed, get ready, and head out to work. And then I came home. She was already asleep. I got home around midnight. Home, but here, you know what I'm saying. So we're walking through the boardwalk hallways, heading out uh, onto the actual boardwalk. And we're going to head into Disney. So exciting. This is so nice. This is so, so much fun. I feel bad Lauren wants to come, but she's just really not feeling well. 
It's a bummer. But we'll miss her. And luckily, we live close by where she can still enjoy the parks another day. But she's just taking it easy, enjoying her nice, relaxing morning. It's nice to wake up in a hotel room. You feel fancy. I feel like you're on big, hey? Uh, we're probably going to skip. I was going to go grab an espresso at Carousel Coffee downstairs, but I think we're going to push right through, just head straight to France and have a little breakfast in France because everyone's been telling me for years, you've got to have breakfast in France. And with all the times I've come to Disney and since I've lived here, I have never done that. So let's go. We might lose service in the elevator. How's it going, G? Hey, how you doing? Good morning. Morning. It's great. I'm having a great morning. How about you? Really good. Really good. <laughs> well, thanks for uh, waking up early, creating some magic. Excellent. I'm going down to one. All right. Uh, you too. Nice guy. I can't believe he's also I can't believe we haven't lost service in the elevator yet. That's kind of bonkers. Speaking of losing service, if at any point this gets a little fuzzy or hate, just and give you the best possible picture. I'll be jumping from Wi-Fi to cell service. Right now we're on cell because the Wi-Fi here, a little sketchy. Passing that gym that we explored yesterday. The muscles and bustles. All right, let's get this off my big red face and show you this beautiful resort. Early morning pool, look at the calm. I love how serene it is. There's the arcade. Oh yeah, we're turning the hat around now. Take a little shortcut across the nice turf lawn. Don't worry, we're not stopping on grass. This is kind of like their great lawn where they do the movies at night right here. Kids are playing, they do activities and whatnot. If you're looking to rent those Surrey bikes, this is where you can get them literally right in front of the main lobby of the boardwalk. Beautiful morning. Nice hanging out on your balcony. Ah, <sighs> it's gonna be a hot one today, but right now it's it's nice. You know, it's like a warm hug and not a warm constricting heat yet. Something special about Disney in the morning. Waking up early, Disney too, reminds me of vacations since we moved down four years ago. Uh, actually, this week will be our four-year anniversary of moving down. You know, we pop into the parks when we can, but we don't really have to rope drop anymore since we're lucky enough to be so close. But we used to come down, you know, three, four times a year before we moved here. We used to wake up at six in the morning, stay till fireworks, stay out till midnight and repeat. I think there's something special about that. Besides being lucky enough to stay at the boardwalk. Again, big thank you to Brian, Allie. Uh, there's, it's nice, that vacation feeling of waking up early, seeing all the excited people. There's a magic in the air. And I like it. The Cake Bake Shop is coming in 2023. Wait a minute, it is 2023. They got a ways to go. The building is just open and exposed. I'm going to say this is going to be opening in very late December November 2023. This will be a giant cake bake shop. Look at the size, look at the concept art. I guess they'll have some salads as well. It looks like a eggs patty. A nice hollandaise. This should be perfect timing. We have five minutes until early access starts. And we're about four minutes away from Epcot. The boats are running. I miss the ESPN club too, Jason. Daniel, I love what you're saying. Tomorrowland Traveler here in the chat says, good morning, everyone. Don't forget that like button on your way in. That would be awesome. Jamie Pizarro, good morning. My man, Jaime. This is a good morning from Chile. 
Thanks for the early show. Absolutely. Thanks for being here. Chris Birdsong. Another bright, sunny, glorious Disney morning makes me sick. Trattoria Al Forno makes a great breakfast, too. You're right, David. Just mousing around, my man Joey from Long Island in the house. David D. Loves Disney says, Pete, I need to meet you the next time we're at Walt Disney World at the end of August. All right. It's my birthday at the end of August. August 29th. I'll be turning 21 again. Rebecca, where does the boardwalk rank in your favorite resorts? So I was saying this on yesterday's stream. I think the proximity, since the boardwalk, beach, and yacht, I'll kind of group together. Uh, I just love that you could wake up and walk into Epcot, pop out if it gets too hot in the middle of the day, jump in the pool, go back in for fireworks, or... Like Lauren recorded some video last night. I'll put it up later on today or tomorrow. Watch fireworks from your room. So if I had to pick, I'd probably say beach and yacht a little above the boardwalk only because depending on what room you get at the boardwalk, it can be a long haul to your room if you get the very ends. We're like in the middle-ish, which I didn't mind. Also... Storm along Bay is really nice. The pool area at, at Beach and Yacht, it's a really cool pool. So I'll give Beach and Yacht the edge of these three, but I like this area because you can walk in. Now, Polynesian's probably going to be up there. Wilderness Lodge is going to be up there. I think in terms of beauty, Animal Kingdom Lodge is great, but it is kind of far from everything. You do have to drive or take a bus. You have no Skyliner, you have no bus, I mean, not bus, you have no monorail. So I'd probably say these three resorts over here with the Polynesian and Wilderness Lodge would be my top five. Riviera is beautiful too, I've never stayed there, but it's gorgeous, it's on the Skyliner. It's tough. Yeah, that would be up there too. But also, I mean, I like I like them all. I like my children because you can't pick one. There's other ones like, like I like Four Wilderness. It's a ton of fun, but it's a different kind of vibe. I love a lot of moderates. I think the Port Orleans, Riverside and French Quarter are great. I think Caribbean Beach is great. A lot of these resorts hold a special place in my heart. So asking me to rank them is very hard. I just want to give them all compliments like I'm trying to do now. I know the nice part about these uh, beach, yacht, and boardwalk is you can hop on the Skyliner right here and take it over to Hollywood Studios if you don't want to go into Epcot. Or go explore other resorts. You can go pop out of the Riviera, pop out of Caribbean Beach, or continue on the Skyliner if you want to go hang out at Pop or Art of Animation. Take a run around Hourglass Lake. If you guys could hit that like button. I see we got about 75 people here so far and 55 likes. Let's pump, pump, pump it up. You know what I didn't do? I don't think I made a park reservation. Let's go through security. I got to show you guys the ground. Let's see if I can, I don't know if I made a park reservation for today or not. Let's, let's see what happens and then I'll make a new one. <laughs> so excited for when there's no more park reservations. No, I forgot to make a park reservation. <laughs> Sorry. All right, guys, I gotta use the phone that I'm uh, streaming on really quick to make a res. Don't go anywhere. Talk more. Let's try this again. Oh, 
Bingo, bango, bango. Thanks. All right. So if you're wondering how the early access works, is that anyone can come scan in and then they kind of hold you uh, up at the top of this hill, from what I remember. But you can see they're letting people in, first people entering the park. Love it. So here, over here, you can see early access for guests participating hotels, for guests up participating hotels. So they'll scan your magic band, and that's how you get in. <laughs> Solo? Yeah. Alright. Thanks. Have a great day. Off we go. Look at that. 8.33. If I had that reservation, that would be perfect for that thing, but we're here. I'm um, hoping everyone, it looks like everyone's headed to Ratatouille or the Crapery. We are going to go try this breakfast. If you haven't noticed, there's new pylons out in the lagoon. Ah, I'm caught in the morning. So beautiful. What's better than this? So lucky. Counting my blessings this morning. Izzo, good morning. I saw there's a bunch of other chat too. I'll catch up with the chat in a little bit. Anybody else miss the chair, guys? I miss the guys on chairs. And I knew they couldn't do it forever. But boy, was that a staple of Epcot for me. I love how quiet it is back here. Impressions they ran 16 minutes. Oh. Let's get some breakfast and watch Impressions Day France. I love that show, it's been a while. So no line yet, but this opens at eight, I'm sorry, at 9 a.m. Since there's no line, maybe we'll go do something to come back. Look at this, how cool is this in the morning? This is why you got a rope drop. Come in, and you can go run to ride, especially if you don't, if you, if you, you know, are only coming every once in a while. I totally get that, but if you're able to, go explore the parks, especially like Animal Kingdom I love early in the morning. Go do some trails that are completely empty or places like this here at Epcot, where imagine all the fun pictures and I don't know, you just take a moment in silence to just appreciate everything that, from Walt Disney to the Imagineers have built, all the magic that's been created, all the awesome memories. And the attention to detail is beautiful. So you can see everyone, if you look, <coughs> excuse me, if you look through the arcade, you can see everyone's heading to, um, whatchamacallit, Remy's Ratatouille Adventure and the, the Creperie. Since that's where the crowd is, we won't go right now, but I figure I'd just show you where the masses are heading. And this looks like a great spot to come and take our breakfast to. A little spot in the shade. You got the Skyliner. So right now, Remy's at 25 minutes. Not bad. This is uh, the advantage of the rope drop. 
This is also that weird time between festivals. Flower and Garden ended uh, 4th of July. And we have food and wine starting at the end of July. We'll be here opening day. So come hang out with us. Let's go have some other fun and come back. Like I said, no one's in line, so we don't have to particularly hop in line right away. Well, we got a super chat. Dave G, thank you so much. Super sticker, you are amazing. No, you're amazing. Thank you so much. Very kind. Have fun at work today. Hi, Karen Haywood. Good morning. What a lovely surprise. Early Epcot is elite. I agree, Karen. Mike Kemp, good morning. Happy hump day. Once again, big thanks to Dave. Really appreciate that. Mr. Dave says, I'm in New Jersey watching this. So jealous. Well, I wish you were here. I wish I could bring you all along with me. Big group breakfast. Everyone's invited. Matthew says, don't worry about the pylons. They'll be cut down. I think so, too. But you can see something new coming to be. They got the barges out of here finally, and it's right back to work. Right now, Epcot forever. Temporary fireworks show. Another place I love to walk around when it's quiet and empty is Morocco. So I figured let's go do that. So you can see the booths come together. There's the Belgian booth. I, I can't wait for food and wine. I'm so excited. Dave says, thanks for your early stream, Pete. Making my work day much better. We appreciate you. Well, I appreciate you. Thanks so much. Mike says, it looks warm already. It definitely is. Oh, did I delete Daniel's message? I'm sorry, Daniel. <laughs> I didn't know how I did that. I'm so sorry. Dan says, food and wine is my favorite festival. Why am I deleting Daniel's messages? I promise you I'm not trying to, Daniel. I am so sorry. Harris is good morning from Texas. So it looks like there's a photo shoot or something happening back here. A lot of name tags, a lot of cameras. Oh, uh, they're shooting something, it looks like. They say private event, they're shooting something. Well, so much for walking around Morocco. Food and wine's a ton of fun. I'm excited it starts earlier for everybody. I tell the story a million times, but uh, it started many, many years ago, but I was going through a bit of a rough time. And my birthday was coming up and I was kind of bummed about it. So I said, you know what? I looked up flights, there was a cheap ticket down the Disney. Uh, Lauren and I had just started dating. And I said, hey, I know this is kind of crazy, but would you just want to like bop down to Disney for like two or three days? I would love to just walk around the world showcase and celebrate my birthday there, kind of get away from all the hustle and bustle here and everything I have going on. She was like, let me think about it. Eventually said yes. And we came down and we had a wonderful two or three days just walking around the world showcase and, you know, just enjoying Walt Disney World. At the time, I was a AP, but Lauren was not. And she said, you know, she wasn't the biggest fan of Disney at the time. So she said, you know, don't expect too much. Oh, they're bringing another lift out. Look at that right there on the barge. Anyway, after she watched Happily Ever After with me, uh, and I saw a couple tears coming down her, her face, I was like, this has been a pretty magical trip, huh? And she was like, yeah. She's like, can I still be an annual pass holder And if I paid for these tickets already? I'm like, yep. You could apply what you spent on those tickets for an annual pass. And then the Disney love was born. And uh, Lauren and I ended up moving down here about 10 months later pretty cool but anyway I started a tradition of uh coming here and being at Epcot maybe uh maybe it was before that where I came by myself but that was one of my favorite birthdays so I spent uh I think all except for last year almost like every birthday in a row here at Epcot the whole point of the story because I was talking about food and wine is that food and wine always started right after we left so I would come down my birthday is August 29th food and wine would always start like the first week of September so I'd see all the festival booths out and get all excited, but I wouldn't get to see it all. 
But now I'm happy it starts earlier because now everyone gets to appreciate it all summer long. Along with the Eat to the Beat concert series, which is a lot of fun. Good morning, Peaches. Kidder96, what's going on? Rebecca says, walking to work. This is a great way to start the day. I wish I had a job that allowed me to tune into the live streams more often. Well, thanks for watching when you did, Rebecca. You can always watch it on the replay. Yeah, between festivals, we call this Epcot Light. <laughs> Matthew Kent nailed it. If everyone's enjoying the stream, I see we got a nice big crowd. Good morning from Epcot. About 115 people hanging out, but 79 likes. If you guys can hit the like button, it really helps. Helps push the stream out to others. Maybe we can brighten up some other people's mornings. So if you want to hit the like button, I'd appreciate it. If you're new, consider subscribing. We love hanging out here in the parks. Yesterday, we did a resort tour over at the boardwalk. Lucky enough to be staying there last night. Like I said, we'll be putting up a quick little video, just the highlights. Lauren took some highlights from uh, watching the fireworks from our room at the boardwalk last night. I say we, but I was at work. Lauren recorded for me. Let's head back to France and get a nice French breakfast. I always want to just jump in and help people. Like, where are you having dinner? Oh, you know where that is? What you're going to do is you're going to head right over here. <laughs> Avery asks, is it just deluxe resorts that allow you early access? Uh, there's a list. I think it's a few others as well. Honestly, I didn't even know. And they didn't tell me about it. We had a... We had, let's say, um, someone who's still learning their magic check us in yesterday at the boardwalk. So it was a bit of a rough check-in. <laughs> didn't really start us off on the right foot. But luckily, more than 70,000 cast members down here and so many of them are amazing so the trip's still been great but yeah, they never even mentioned early access to us they didn't tell us anything about it i just knew that it was a thing so i looked it up went to literally just googled it, disney early access resorts and they have a whole list and then if you just go to park hours it'll show you what time the park's open to the public and what time the early access is in each park Let's see, we got about 15 minutes until they open, but six minutes until the next Impressions Day France. I don't know. I think we should watch a little Impressions. Because I don't want to walk too far away if we're going to get breakfast here. We will, of course, be doing a lap around the World Showcase and showing you a lot of the park after we eat breakfast. What do we got, about six people hanging out? Maybe we'll go watch a little Impressions. Perfect, uh, we're in the right proximity when we get out. It lets out into that hall where breakfast is served anyway. Let's do it. Hello, good morning. Les Mis. I'll tell you one thing, the air conditioning feels fantastic. Are we the first ones here? We got five minutes till showtime. Like I said, this is perfect because the show will end. It will let us out right into where we want to grab breakfast. We'll have a little breakfast and then we'll continue around the world showcase. Impressions of France way better than the single along in my opinion. Very elegant in here. 
Epcot would like to thank the following institutions for their gracious support of this exhibi exhibition. The Walt Disney Archives, the Opera Orlando, the Orlando Ballet, the Garden Theater, the really useful group, Cameron McIntosh, and the Florida State University College of Music. All right, let's see if there's anyone else I haven't said hi to. If you are new to the channel, welcome. Thanks for hanging out. Hi, I'm Pete Carney. This is Adventures by Carney. And I'm so happy you're here with us. We are here inside the theater waiting for Impressions Day France because we want to grab breakfast right here. And it opens at nine. This happens and then it lets you in. And since there's not a huge line, let's go watch a little show. I would, I'm, we're gonna show you all of the World Showcase and enjoy the morning. Again, this doesn't even open until the public, until nine. So we're gonna do a lap around the World Showcase. The World Showcase stays very quiet because a lot of people rush to those rides at 9 a.m. So a lot of people coming in from the parking lot, which is way up front, and then they'll run to Soarin', Test Track, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, try to get a boarding group, which we probably should have done. Oh well. We can't get up service on there anyway, so if I can't ride it with all of you, forget it. We're not going. Plus I've done it a bunch, so it's okay. But yeah, so uh, if you want a nice quiet walk around the World Showcase, the mornings, it stays very quiet up until around 11-ish because again, people are just running, getting all those rides done. Big hack I could give you, don't do Spaceship Earth in the morning or Finding Nemo in the morning. Those hold very long wait times, but if you just wait till the afternoon, those drop way down to like the five to 20 minute range. So you can save a ton of time by not rushing those because those are right up front. People kind of bum rush those. Soren also drops down a lot in the afternoon. Test Track kind of holds a long line all day because that can't run if it's raining or lightning. So and it's in the summer months, it rains every day, uh, almost every day at least. So it'll shut down, people still wanna get on it or their return times will be pushed back. So get test track done. Guardians is inside, so that runs all day, get a boarding group. Uh, Remy is inside, so that runs all day. Uh, Living with the Land, again, one of my favorite rides, but do that in the afternoon. That holds a long wait in the mornings, but not really in the afternoon. Also, I, like, I tell everyone to go do Nemo at the hottest point of the day. Between like 1.30 and 3.30 is the hottest time here uh, in Orlando. Go inside. It's an air-conditioned. You can do the ride. The wait. Go enjoy the aquarium. Watch the fish and the dolphins and the sharks. The manatees. Go see the manatees. All right. I think we're going to head into the theater. But before I run in, let me just say hi to anyone I haven't said hello to yet. Yeah, Rebecca Dolan, so the World Showcase in the morning is so peaceful. Avery said, it's nice to get a quiet walk through Epcot. Andrew Saunders, good morning. New York Tiki Bar, good morning. Bill Doherty, viva la France. And air conditioning, exactly. Yes, but I'm a brand new, we are rope dropping in Precious Day, France. I don't think we've ever done that on the stream. Who does that? First people in here, first show of the day. Let's go. And then a little breakfast in France. This will put us in the mood. We'll be feeling fancy. Let's see if I have any other questions I missed. Show's starting, Chris. Oh, show's starting. All right, we gotta head in. Let's go. Bonjour. Ah, so cool. I love it. No, Brady, Francy on purpose because we're in France and we're being fancy. Francy. I enjoy the music as well, Avery. What a great way to start the day. Walt Swafford, what's going on? Has never been to the show. Well, you are in for a treat. I don't know if I like it so much because the nostalgia feeling. Or, but I mean, it's just, it's been around for a while. It just puts you in the mood to appreciate friends. And like I said, air conditioning is your friend. 
Brandy said, is Law feeling any better? She's feeling a little bit better. Um, still not great. Yeah, she just got hit with a bad cold or some kind of sinus, something. She's taken, you know, her meds and vitamins, but she just couldn't hack this. She's trying to save, not exert energy, trying to just conserve, let her body heal. So she's just enjoying the hotel room. I mean, she's got the balcony, she's reading a book, just taking it easy. We wish she could be here with us, but it's good for her. And like I said, we're lucky that we live so close where we and Lauren can do the parks another morning. Yeah, summer cold. <laughs> Bill says French fries for Lauren. We got our French fries yesterday. Thanks so much to everybody who's uh, subscribed. If you're a new subscriber, you can say hi in the chat. You don't have to. We also have an amazing Discord. It's a fantastic community. Uh, the link is down below in the description. You should go check it out. Bonjour. If you want to exit, use the doors on your left side. And now, as you
the majestic gardens of Versailles, a magic window onto a golden age of kings.
ageless symbol of France. Mont Saint Michel. Proud, full of grace and symmetry. Rooted firmly to the ground, yet dedicated to the spirit. From the cold green north they come to the golden glow of the Riviera, where warm winds kindle dreams of eternal spring, however fleeting they may.
than to celebrate the birth of our republic. Wonderful film. Good morning, everyone. I see we got a bunch of people coming on in. If you do me a big favor, please hit the like button. It helps others find the stream. Puts a big smile on my face. It's just a nice thing to do on this wonderful Wednesday. So, like we said, we wanted to grab a little breakfast here this morning, and look at that. Look at that timing. Watch a beautiful film. Get some air conditioning, and in we come. How you doing? Look at this. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. What? You're on TV. Everyone is Liliana. Oh my gosh, I want everything. I want a delicious breakfast sandwich. I think we gotta go with, oh my gosh. It all sounds amazing. All right. Can I do the eggs, cheese, and bacon croissant? Croissant salé? Can I do the uh, eggs, cheese, and bacon croissant? Uh, and then an espresso up there. Okay. Thank you. Look at this after watching that film. Yeah, please. Thank you. Look at all the bread. It smells so good in here. I wish I had smell vision for all of you guys. They look amazing, but I'm, I'm good for now. Thank you. Yeah, I'm eating with my eyes. Magic band down. Oh, 
Yes, but can I do a double espresso? Thank you. Ooh, maybe I should have gotten a Cronenberg. <laughs> it is my vacation day. We're gonna need some napkins. I think we're gonna eat outside. It's hot, but it's crowded in here and it's so beautiful outside. We gotta show you the majesty of Epcot. I'm a messy eater. And my face is on camera, so we're gonna grab some extra napkins. Ah, uh, that music from the show is still playing in my head. Mm hmm. Ah, all the shops are open. It's so wonderful. Le Vin de France. I don't speak French at all, so this is all going to sound terrible. <coughs> Let's see if those tables we saw earlier are available. Cut through the arcade. So I hope everyone enjoyed Impressions de France. It's a fantastic way to start the morning. Now we're gonna have a nice French breakfast and then we'll do a lap around the world showcase. What's better than that? Look at this, nice tables in the shade. Enjoy a cafe and a croissant and do a little people watching. How awesome is this? You got the Skyliners coming in and out. So I see we got about 150 people hanging out. Hi everyone, if you're new, I'm Pete Carney, Adventures by Carney. Boom, boom. By the way, speaking of merch, it's available on our website, adventuresbycarney.fun. Anyway, I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday morning. I'm having the best day ever. The only thing that would make it better if Lauren was here with me, but she's a little under the weather. But I'm very happy to have all of you here hanging out with me in Epcot. It is a fantastic morning. It's going to get warm today, but right now I'd say it's it's okay for me. And I've run hot. It's I mean, look what I'm looking at. It, it, come on. We got the Skyliner. All these people just starting their day. Getting ready to have the magic happen. We have this, look at this croissant. Bacon, egg, and cheese croissant. I got a double espresso. This is it. This is what it's all about. Just uh, before I eat, a little something I do is I like to just give my thanks and just say, man, how lucky am I, one, to be here, but uh, to have a YouTube channel and to have all of you watching and hanging out. I hope this brings a little bit of happiness to your day and you're bringing a lot of happiness to me by, by being here and hanging out with me. So thank you so much. I, uh, I really am the luckiest guy. 
All right, with that being said, let's get into this. I've never had, I know this is crazy because I've been living here for four years now, breakfast in France. So let's just get into it. I love croissants, I love bacon, I love eggs, I love cheese. Mmm. That is delicious. By the way, I just noticed, um, I think it's Princess Aurora is hanging out meeting with guests right there. She's right behind the bowl now, but. Robert, you were right. These are delicious. I will catch up with the chat in a minute. You guys were hysterical during the show. Uh, first of all, thanks for being so kind and nice to others. A lot of beautiful, positive people. Some people asking questions, others answering it. But also some hilarious comments in the chat during that Impressions Day France show. Mmm. I'm so happy that a lot of you have never seen that show. I like bringing new things, or that's why I like giving out like little tips and tricks or fun facts or hidden Mickeys. But a lot of people know a lot about the attractions. We try to do the popular ones because that's what you want to do when you watch a video like this. So we do something a little different like impressions. And I see in the comments, like, I've never seen this before. Where is this? Or, oh, this is cool. I really like this. It means a lot to me. I'm, I'm excited for you. And you should definitely come experience it in person. It's wild. I can only show you so much on my little camera. But it really does encompass all around you in your peripheral vision uh, completely. And for a show or, a, you know, a, an attraction that's been here, I think, since opening day, it still holds up. It's awesome. Yeah, it would be really cool if they had, like, the smells when you have, like, the... It's, it's super cool. And like I said, especially in the summer months, we're coming during the warmer months. And again, it's warm in Orlando all the time, but July and August especially are rough. It is a great air conditioning break. So build it into your day. Uh, sadly, I think they also still run the Beauty and the Beast sing-along, which is not as good. I would say if you had to pick a show, go do Canada instead, go do China instead, go do Awesome Planet, go on Living with the Land, it, it should be a last resort, the sing-along. It's not great. It's not even a good sing-along. Listen, I love sing-alongs. I'm a karaoke guy. Let me get up there and have a good time. But they cut off the songs and the best part, uh, it just falls a little flat. But I'm a positive person, so let's talk about all the other good things. All the other attractions are amazing. The espresso is very good. It's very warm. Very hot. But this sandwich is uh, c'est magnifique. Mmm. 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 I just got so excited. In the corner of my eye, I swear there was a guy that just walked out. That looked just like Josh tomorrow, and then walked back in. And then I peeked and looked, and it wasn't him. It was just another man dressed nicely. That beautiful, beautiful man. <laughs> We're almost caught up with likes. We have about 140, 120 likes. We're close. If everyone just hit the like button, man, think about how you could change the world, make it a better place. I know I'm already happy, but this gets happier and redder, believe it or not. So if you're just joining or if you don't know the game plan for today, we're going to wrap up our breakfast. We're having a little croissant with bacon, egg, and cheese. Delish. And then from here, we're going to head into a nice, uh, relaxing walk around the world showcase. The mornings are very quiet. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous morning here. Like I said, it's a wonderful Wednesday. We're hanging out at Epcot. What's better than that? We were lucky enough to stay at the boardwalk last night, so we got to wake up. We started the stream in the room. 
took a stroll along the boardwalk, came in, we were, uh, got early access because we were staying at the boardwalk, so we got in a half an hour before everybody else. And it's been a fantastic day. I'm just in the best mood. And I hope it's coming across, and I hope you're gonna have the best day too. Good things are coming your way. Mm -mm -mm. This is so good. Mm -mm 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 -mm. If you missed yesterday's stream, we were over at the boardwalk, did a nice full in-depth room tour. We uh, have a one bedroom villa. Again, big thank you to Brian and Allie uh, who booked it for us. Uh, and then we did a whole in-depth resort tour and the boardwalk. Since we're here at Epcot, I should say, mark your calendars. We will be uh, here opening day of food and wine later this month. So you don't wanna miss that. And if you are new and haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. I would say hit that bell, turn on all notifications. That way you don't miss any live streams. We pop on and go live uh, pretty often. We try to go live at least two plus times a week. Uh, we do live very close to the park, so we're here in, at Walt Disney World or Universal or SeaWorld. Universal live streams are few and far between because their Wi-Fi is a bit rough, but we do try. But we're at Disney a lot. So if you like Walt Disney World or just traveling and seeing new things, consider subscribing. We also, I, I talk about it all the time, but it's, it's really su super cool. Our Discord, started a little Discord and we started uh, gaining some steam with the channel. And it's really grown in such an amazing community. The link is down below. It's completely free. You can use your computer, your cell phone, your laptop. Oh, Shelly's posting the links here in the chat. Thanks so much, Shelly. And if you want to follow along with my crazy life and uh, all the fun we're having, I try to keep everyone updated uh, between live streams and, and chatting on the Discord. Uh, my socials, my Twitter is at your WDW guy. My Instagram is at official Carney. Threads is also at official Carney. Uh, the TikToks Adventures by Carney. And big shout out to the Patreons. The Patreon is patreon.com backslash Adventures by Carney. They are amazing. They keep the channel going. Thank you so much. And if you're able to do so, I know not everyone can do it, but if you're able to, thank you so much. But if you're watching right now, sharing, subscribing, liking, that's awesome too. I love all of you guys. <laughs> if you're ever here in the parks and you see me, come up and say hi. It was nice seeing Chief Leaf yesterday. Mm -mm. This is delicious. We got two more bites and then we'll keep it moving. Here's what I'm looking at. Hi, Glenn. I just was enjoying, I just had my last bite. Um, I did a bacon, egg, and cheese on a fresh croissant, and it was incredible. So good. It lived up to the hype, which doesn't happen often, but man, it was fantastic. Oh, it's starting to get warm. All right, before we get walking, we got this done, less sip of espresso here. Yeah, we're, we had a breakfast sandwich from Le Hal, L-E-S-H-A-L-L-E-S. Le Hal, Le Hal, Le Halles. I don't speak French. I'm better at Spanish. Not that I'm good at Spanish, better at Spanish. Or Italiano, ciao bene. Also, Shelly just put it in the chat, but we do have merch, we got hats, we got tank tops, uh, we got sweatshirts, and our newest item, which we have 11 left, is our tumblers that you can bring into the parks, put your coffee in in the mornings. Uh, you can put them in your, they fit in cup holders. So a lot of these, um, you know, keep your hots, hops, cold, colds. These large bottoms, you can't fit them in cup holders or your strollers, it's rough. These are great. They're beautiful insulated uh, 
they're made by Dugout Mugs, a big $35 million company. They're legit. And they got our Adventures by Carney logo on there. Uh, 35 bucks includes shipping. Totally worth it. They're amazing. Go check them out. Big shout out to Bill who made that all happen. Let's see what else we got going on. Juliana, good morning. Says, this is my favorite spot to sit and eat at Epcot. I'm so glad I found it. This is my one of my new favorite spots. This is the first time I'm sitting here eating or having breakfast in France. Can you believe it? What kind of Disney fan am I? Again, big thanks to Shelly for posting all the links to all the socials, Discord, everything here in the chat. Avery says, I just want to start sipping on champagne. I'm debating it. Honestly, this is what I've been debating in my head this entire time I've been in France. Why am I not having champagne? Or at least a Cronenberg. Gotta have a crony. Cronies with my homies. Oh, Daniel, thank you so much. Sent me, sent you a little something for some new sunglasses. You're the best, Daniel. Marlene Traveler is Dana, by the way. He has a YouTube channel, it's fantastic. This is always the happiest at Disney. Bill, what's going on? Says, yeah, Robert D has great taste in food and drink. I agree. I love eating and drinking with Robert. When he's in town, that's usually what we end up doing. And he's always right. And the food is great. He's also inc incredibly generous, uh, which is unnecessary, but one of the nicest guys you'll meet. I mean, all of you are. Daniel, Robert, Bill, everybody here in the chat. Dawn, you just missed Impressions. Uh, we just watched Impressions Day France. If you came in late, everyone, you can always rewatch on the replay. Stay alive with us now, it's fun. But when it's done, go back and watch the part you missed. And you get to leave a comment if you go back and watch, which really helps the stream too. Look at that. You're helping. Sandy C, good morning. I love that show so much. Thanks, the music is amazing too. I agree, Sandy. I think it's a hidden gem. Uh, Michael Collado, what's going on? It says, good morning from Juliet or Joliet, Illinois. Nothing like Epcot in the morning. I love Canada. We'll be down in September. Can't wait. We'll see you during Food and Wine. Like I said, if you ever see me, come up and say hi. Also, in our Discord, we have a channel called Carney Crew Meetups, where you can put when you'll be in town, and we'll all try to meet up. Also, I try to put my schedule in there if I have an organized schedule for the week, but my schedule is absolutely crazy uh, and changes minute to minute, which you'll learn if you watch the channel. But it's fun. It keeps everyone on their toes, including me. Randy just got back from France, so it was very emotional watching Impressions Day France. Uh, Plain Truth, good morning. Jordan Garrett, good morning, great to see you. John Thorne, good morning. Peaches, good morning. Look at all these beautiful people. Moogle, what's up? All right, I loved all the convo and chat during the show. You guys are the best, it's so funny. I, I loved, uh, Randy wrote, imagine having your wedding shown every day over and over again at Epcot for over 40 years. And then Daniel wrote, which one? <laughs> Hard not to laugh out loud in the show. Brenda said, I just joined the Discord, never heard of it before. I'm very new, I'll figure it out. Brenda24, awesome. Yeah, if you join the Discord, put your real name or your YouTube handle so we know who you are or at least your real name so we can chat with you. It's very easy to figure out. I mean, I'm not a big technology person. Super easy. Make a username up. The general conversation, everyone's in there. Everyone's very kind. They're nice. They're sweet. We do Disney tips and tricks, other theme parks, food reviews. Like I said, the schedule's in there. Uh, there's a channel. Um, if you want to suggest an edited video idea or a live stream idea, that's something you want to see. I love getting those ideas. They inspire me to go do them. Uh, if you want a merch item uh, that already exists or you want a new one, there's a merch channel. So much to do in the Discord. It's awesome. I think we're pretty much caught up. We're going to get moving. Uh, Anthony the Molar Man, good morning. Just want to make sure I give everybody a little bit of love here. I appreciate uh, everyone hanging out. Yes, go see impressions. Pat Mix75 is here. If I missed, just say hi again in the chat, because I'm going, uh, let's get moving. Let's show you some of that guy. Nobody wants to see this big red face. Espresso complete. All right, let's take care of this trash can right here. All right, let's go check out Epcot. A little stroll around the world showcase in the morning. Hey, what's up? You want to be on camera? What's your name? Where are you from? John. 
Boston. So. Oh, nice. We got a big Boston crew in here. Of course. Here, uh, just hanging out for the day or taking the day off from work. I love it. That's what we're doing. We, uh, we're lucky enough to stay over at the boardwalk last night. So I was like, I got to wake up early and walk into Epcot. Like, this is the best. It's not too busy today either. No, it's beautiful. That's why I said everyone's like, oh, there's going to be a line for breakfast in France. There was nobody there. It was great. I know. It was awesome. I've never had breakfast here in France, which I can't believe. Yeah, like Creperie. I had breakfast sandwich. No, I, I didn't have done the creperie place either, but I just never have had like an egg sandwich on a croissant here, and I know I should. I'm usually not here this early in the morning since I moved down, yeah. but it was uh, delicious. Yeah, but we're just starting a little lap around the world showcase now. Are you hanging out for a little bit? Yeah. All right, cool. Um, yeah, after I'm done with the lap, I'll see if you're around, or if you see me, come hang out. We'll grab a drink later on. Yeah, man. Yeah. Thanks for coming up and saying hi. You, Cheers. Love it. I love seeing people in the park. Well, I was just saying that. If you ever see me, come up and say hi. I love putting a face to names. Even if you don't chat or you're one of those people who just kind of ninja watches. Come up and say hi. Look at this glorious day. Ooh, we just got a burst of AC. Thank you, Chef de France. We're going to see them. Uh, some of the booths are already up for Food and Wine Festival. We were talking about this yesterday, but they have released the menus, and they look great. Food and Wine can be touch and go sometimes. I mean, of all the festivals we always talk about, like... Festival of the Arts really stepped their game up. It's been become a, a real gem. Uh, Flower Garden, beautiful time of the year to be here. Great food. And uh, you would think food and wine would be the foodiest one. Uh, and, so, you know, there's some great food items. Don't get me wrong. But I'm excited for these menus this year. I'm very, I'm pumped. I'm optimistic. It's going to be a great year. We'll be here opening day in the morning to eat and drink as much as we possibly can and bring you the reviews. We're gonna try as many of the new food items as possible. If there's something you want us to try, go drop it in the Discord. I'll start putting a list together. I've been saving my nickels and dimes for that day. <laughs> but we will eat and drink all the things. Oh look, Jasmine just happens to be strolling around. How cool is that? Jasmine just hanging out in Morocco. No one's here, just hanging, chilling. Good morning. Good morning. Great to see both of you. Hi, you. I'm fantastic. This is a great day here. Look how empty it is. This is wild. The sun is shining. We'll get a little shade, yeah, for sure. I was going to say, you're in the long sleeves today, too. We're headed to the Cable Wonders right now. We're going to go show everybody where it's at. But it's one of the... Oh, look. I mean, you don't have to come. You can hang out out here. I was going to show everyone. I mean, I'll take a tour from Jasmine. How often does that happen? Oh, no. All right. We're keeping our eyes peeled for a monkey. Abu, where are you? Oh no, a boo on a sugar rush. That's gotta be terrifying. <laughs> he goes bananas, I love it. What? Can you do that? Look at this, everyone. So this is Lamps of Wonder where you head on back and you can actually meet Jasmine. I mean, we met her outside, this is awesome. Let's take a photo, why not? Let's go in and show you how cool this is. So while you're waiting here in the queue, you got all these awesome Moroccan artifacts. How's it going? Good morning. Good morning. Look how cool this is. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. I love what you've done with the place. All right, let's right, set this down. Magic band or park ticket today? Yeah, I'll use my magic band. Perfect. Why not? My friend will scan that right after you're done meeting. Oh, right. Hi, friends. Do we have magic band or park ticket every day? Perfect. So my friend in green will scan that when you're done meeting Jasmine. She'll come to get you in just a moment. Are we all one big family? Thank you so much. Yeah, it's nice with this formal. Okay. All right. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. What a wonderful experience. How cool is that? 
I mean, I, I wasn't even planning on getting my picture taken with Jasmine. I was just gonna show you guys how awesome Morocco is in the morning and it's quiet. We just hang out with Jasmine, get a little tour? Are we talking magical moments here at Disney or what? How awesome is that? How awesome are all of you? So this is where, uh, it was closed this morning. We tried to take a little peek back here earlier and I guess they were filming a little something. Right now you can see they're hiding a lift. <laughs> so it's a little crowded back here, but look how beautiful. So during the day, I'm, be, I'm told they turned this into a place you could hang out. Is this still during the day like a place where people can grab some air conditioning? Or what's the blue lounge? Is this it? No? Okay, I'm totally wrong. Yeah. Okay. So right now they don't. Gotcha. So during food and wine, it might be a possibility. Yes. Gotcha. And it moves to another area, so this was like. Okay, moving to another area. We just figure we keep people informed. Gotcha. Um, I just don't know if it's going to be. Okay, I'll take that. You're, we're not we're not holding you to it. I was born red. It's always red. It just can't stop being red. <laughs> I have the lotion on, I promise. My other half made me put it on this morning. <laughs> We're also seeking shade whenever possible. My husband is always red too, and it's like, I want that on. Yeah, I'm, I'm just roasting 24 seven. But thank you so much for all the information. Appreciate you guys. Thanks for creating magic. So here's the back window to where we just met Jasmine. And yeah, just the, lots of tables back here. So like we were just talking about, getting shade is very important here in Orlando. So come back here. You can enjoy a little beverage, a drink. So when I was talking about the Blue Lounge, just during the festivals, I guess, they, this was one, she said it might move, but they have these dedicated areas where you can kind of just cool off in the air conditioning, sit down, you, you know, let the phone charge, put your feet up, maybe let everyone take a little power nap. And this was one of them. So we'll see if it is during the festival, but keep your eyes peeled for those. And also we'll try to give you as much info as we can here on this channel. Uh, this iconic door used to be a big photo spot. It still is, look how beautiful this is with the tree here and the door, but never forget. So there is Lamps of Wonder, we just went in there. This in the afternoon turns into a sangria shop. You can come grab flights of sangria or pitchers or cups. Uh, you can do red or white sangria back here and then catch some shade. Instead of throwing some, you can catch some shade back here. And it's nice and cool. And it's also protected from the elements, even though it looks like it's, uh, if it rains, it would get all wet. Disney magic, you stay dry when it rains back here. So another great spot to come hang if you can't get into a restaurant during the rain. And in the summer months, it rains quite often. This is a great find. Just a beautiful pavilion. For those who don't know it, I mean, it's a pretty well-known Disney fact, but maybe you'll be the first to find out here, is uh, when they were building this, they had originally contacted uh, all the countries asking if they wanted to pay for their pavilions or help build them. And the countries are like, we're good, we'll support you, but we're not gonna give you money, Disney. Morocco said, absolutely, the king of Morocco said, not only that, I'm gonna send you my architects, engineers, uh, and, and basically like all the magic the people who sculpt everything. I mean, they sent a whole army out here and built this pavilion. So it is super authentic. Look, Jasmine's back out walking around. How cool. So in the Fez house, another beautiful spot here in Morocco. I love that Jasmine just walking around. See, this is like old school Disney. I love stuff like that. Now this will <laughs> rain in here, but how cool is this Fez house? gorgeous great spot i've seen a lot more people like taking selfies and instagram posts in here filming things that private event that was happening this morning look i'm thinking it was a wedding because dun 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 champagne flutes you know what this is just what i do but let's throw these out try to clean up keep Disney clean, you know? Now we gotta find a basura. I found one. Just cleaning up champagne flutes. I didn't even get to drink them. No, I wish, now I gotta go find some. 
So much fun. Disney magic all around. Like I was saying earlier, it's so much fun when you get in. I totally think if you're here on a small timetable, run to those big rides that are going to hold long waits all day, like Ratatouille or Test Track, Frozen, uh, get a Guardians group. But if you do come pretty often or if you're just going to take maybe two days in the park where you can have some fun and kind of take your time and not rush to the attractions, man, so much magic just walking around when the parks are empty. You can see and spot new things you never knew were there. I love doing it here. Magic Kingdom is kind of crowded everywhere, so you won't find too many quiet spots, but you will find a lot of magic and a lot of great people watching. Animal Kingdom is a great spot in the morning, too. I mean, even throughout the day, go walk some of those quiet trails. And then when it gets hot, go on all those <laughs> air-conditioned attractions. Every park's got a bunch. Oh, someone left the door open. We are now entering Japan. If you're enjoying the stream, if you want to help out a little bit, please hit that like button. It really helps. If you even for watching on a TV, you could just hit that up button on your fire stick or remote. Hit the like. If you're on a computer or a cell phone, there's just a little thumbs up. I really loved, I was hoping they were going to keep it, but during Flower and Garden, they had all these bamboo water elements back here that would hit a drum or shake a bell. They're gone now, but they were awesome. They were right here. Takumi Te uh, is a pretty expensive experience, dining experience here in Japan. It's $250 per person, but from what I hear, it's absolutely amazing. So if you got a little bit of disposable income or you really want to try some fantastic Japanese food, Takumi Te is right here, hidden away. There's also a ton of other places you could eat. So sorry. Sneak behind you. The Japan booth always brings it, every festival, at least in my opinion. They always got one or two bangers, if not everything. Upstairs, Teppanito. That's that hibachi uh, style cooking. They also have uh, Tokyo, uh, whatchamacallit, Tokyo Dining? No, what is it? It's Tokyo Drift? No. <laughs> so the hibachi grills where they cook in front of you are to the left. And then to the right, oh, maybe they renamed it. Is it called Shiri Sai now? I mean, that's what it says up there. Anyway, they're Mitsukoshi restaurants and then underneath is the Mitsukoshi department store. That is authentic. Mitsukoshi is a giant department chain out in Japan. They've been around since the 1600s. And I love saying hi to these koi. Hello. How's everyone doing this morning? How'd you sleep last night? After the fireworks, did you get some rest? You guys must think the sky explodes every night is just part of life. But let me tell you, if you were in a pond somewhere in the Midwest, it would be very quiet. All right, well, have a great day. Hi, how's it going, Casper? Hey, Tim, hi, Jackie, Stan. Hi, Ishii, Sal. Hey, there's Jim. There's Jeff. Samantha. Allie, what's up? All right, you said hi to everyone. Koi, or specifically Nishikigoi in Japanese, are ornamental descendants of the common carp. Long ago, Asian farmers preferred to breed the carp with the most unique colors for viewing purposes. This selective breeding result resulted in vibrant variations of koi we see today in water gardens throughout the world. How many different colors and patterns can you spot in the water garden? A bajillion? Samantha? <laughs> uh, Katsura Grill up there, cool place to grab some sushi. You can grab some beverages. Down here, what I call the sake hut, uh, cool place to grab your sake. It stays pretty crowded. They don't do the sake flights anymore. I wish they did the sake flights, but this still holds quite a line. Delicious place to grab sake. If there's a long line here, you can always go upstairs to Katsura. Or, you can go uh, down to the booth if you went out here and to the right. We'll show you that on the way over to America. They also, I like that they've been adding tables in shady areas so you can grab a little bit of shade. Right now, these look like they're in the sun because it's the morning. The sun goes overhead and it will be behind those tables in the afternoons. Department store is open.
I did a, uh, I was DJing last night, but also did some trivia. And uh, one of the questions I asked was, which African animal is considered the river horse? Any guesses? Throw them in the chat. No cheating, don't look up. Good morning. Okay, great, thanks so much. Here's KidCat, everyone. So for the kids in all the countries, you can come and do some pin trading. And then in all the countries, they have different activities and they still have, look how cool these little bags are. I love these little bags. The kid caught fun stop. That's, oh yeah, that'd be great. My name is Peter. Not a common Japanese name, I think. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. This is so nice. Oh, thank you, Natsumi. Appreciate that. Oh, this is so nice. Have a great day. Thank you for being here. Look, and they have a little coloring table for the kids. Look at that. We're having a real magical morning right now. Feels like we have the park to ourselves. I rented it out just for us, everyone. We're gonna throw this Epcot bag in my pocket real quick because I'm carrying the water bottle. You gotta hydrate the dehydrate. I don't have mine yet. I'm hoping I'm gonna do an unboxing tomorrow or Friday where we could see the new water bottle. I think Bill sent it to me, I'm so excited. All right, let's put this in the pocket. Hi everyone, I'm Pete. You've never met me before. This is me. Happy you're here with me. I hope you're having a fantastic Wednesday. If you work a typical Monday through Friday, you're halfway there. Today's gonna be a great day. I know it. Let's put this in the back pocket so it doesn't fold. So we gotta remember to move it before we sit. Hey, I just want to say thanks so much for watching and being here with me. I see a lot, a lot of people here hanging out. We actually have the equal amount of people to like. So thank you so much for hitting the like button. If you haven't done so, you can still do it. And uh, if you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing. I would love to have you here. Look at that, Mary Kate's just joining us. Good morning. Uh, let's keep walking. I'll say hi to some people as we walk. By the way, I'll give you, I'm gonna give it away. The river horse is the hippopotamus in Africa. David Long nailed it. Yeah, MK, we're rope dropping Epcot. Avery, I agree. The teriyaki bow bun, mm, 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 get in my belly. A beautiful morning. It's a beautiful morning. I, I think I'll go for a walk here right at Epcot. Ba -da -da. Another great place to grab some shade in the middle of the day and just a little peace, quiet, and serenity if you have the hustle and bustle of Disney is up here. Or back in that bamboo area. We'll show you that in a second, but the restrooms are up here. Now, these restrooms, there's only, uh, I know in the men's room, I think two stalls, I think two in the women's room as well. So it does get a little crowded sometimes, but if you're up here grabbing a bite, you do have a restroom, lots of tables in the shade, and this beautiful water element. And here they have the bamboo that do things with the water. Yay, just like flower and garden. I like how the water goes through the bamboo. And I just heard it knock, all right? Boom, little drum on the rock. Nature's percussion. Love it. This is not a beautiful pavilion. Also, can we just say how like we can't even see another human being right now? and we are at Walt Disney World in Epcot. How amazing is this? This is another really cool spot to hang out. Good picture spot too. We got that warrior, being, creature, archangel with a beak. I need to do more research about this character. Who is this? 
and let's name them. Or her. Or they. Cameron, good morning. Good morning, Mackenzie. How you doing? Happy summer break to all the students and teachers or anyone else who just decided, hey, I need a summer break. <laughs> Don't said Hi, new people right now. We're an odd bunch, but we're nice, honestly. <laughs> Everyone here is so nice, so kind. I'm the luckiest guy. How do I find so many nice people to hang out and watch some videos and when you're here in the parks, hang out with? It's the best. Mary Kay said, I can't remember the last time I roped off the park. I feel like I'm always uh, intend to and get there at noon. Same. And I love rope dropping. There's like a certain magic in the air. Like, again, like, look at this. It's so quiet, so beautiful. And this is July. I mean, this is summer break. Pretty crazy, right? But the mornings, I'm telling you, no matter what time of year, it may not always be this quiet, but if you don't have to rush off to attractions, this is such a great walk. Or if you can let those who want to go on attractions go and you could break off or a few of you, this will just make everything better. This is the best. Yeah, done for sure. That is the smallest bathroom and restaurant. Uh, in Epcot, in restaurant? What am I? I'm reading one sign while I'm talking to the other one. Look at that. I even found something new for Dawn. Angel with a beak. <laughs> Cameron, I hope the surgery went well. Thinking about you. Glenn, bird squatch. <laughs> That's great. Andrew Miller, what's going on? So smash the like button, everyone. Thanks, Andrew. So here we are, Eat to the Beat, starting July 27th. That is opening day. I knew it was the 27th. Uh, and we will be here. So make sure July 27th, mark your calendars. Make sure you're subscribed. You got that bell on. You hit all notifications. Another door open. There we go. Sorry, I was aggressive. You can see them preparing the stage for the Eat to the Beat. Love the new lighting package if you haven't seen it. The stage really looks great. They've done a great job here at the America Gardens Theater. But they're prepping. Going to be a bunch of fun bands coming through. All right, here we go. LD, thanks. So I googled about that statue. It's a Tengu, which is a creature from Japanese folk religion, recognized as a protector of mountains and forests. That's so cool. Thank you, L. We did Impressions de France earlier, and I was talking about other shows you can go do in Canada, China, but here in the United States, or the American Adventure Pavilion, you can go watch The American Adventure. It's about a 40 minute show in the air conditioning. It's got a bunch of really cool animatronics, a great story. Some people, depending on how tired you are, you might end up snoozing a little bit, but it's a super cool show, and it gets you like I said, 40 minutes of air conditioning. And before every show, the Voices of Liberty come out and sing, and they are absolutely amazing. You don't want to miss that. So get to the show early, watch the Voices of Liberty, and then go in and watch the American Adventure. There are four Joffrey's locations here at the park if you're looking for some Joffrey's coffee, some espresso, some pastries, a donut. Not always, but some days, uh, I'm, it's been on random days, but sometimes they have Disney characters just hanging out in this little alleyway by the Regal Eagle Smokehouse and this Joffrey's. So if you're hanging out over here, keep your eyes peeled for some characters that just randomly be hanging out over here in the shade, taking pics. They won't have photo pass people, but they'll have their attendants with them. And you could ask them very nicely if they wouldn't mind taking a photo for you, or you just do a selfie. There is a photo pass person right here, though, where you can get a picture in Italy. A nice empty pavilion this morning. 
L, thanks so much. She said, this has been my favorite Epcot stream. Thank you so much. I hope everyone's enjoying it. We're just trying to make everyone's day a little bit brighter, a little more magical. You can grab a beverage in the morning. A limoncello spritzer. Good morning. Ciao. Forgot I have to change languages. I'm in Italy now. There was a very funny TikTok I saw the other day. I showed Lauren. It was two people in Italy and they were uh, at the actual, uh, what would you call this? Beautiful landmark. And he goes, and the guy goes, isn't this beautiful? He goes, honestly, so much walking. He's like, I can see all these Italy things at Epcot. Epcot has everything. <laughs> and the first they were in Italy, it was amazing. The Italy Kid Cot, again, where you can do some pin trading or crafts and activities for the kids, or is it right over here? There's a bunch of amazing restaurants here in Italy. Uh, someone asked me the other day, what's my favorite pizza in Florida? And I actually said it was Via Napoli, right here inside of Epcot. A common misconception is uh, there's a rumor out there that they ship in their water from Italy, which is close, but not 100% true is that they found a place here in the United States where the water chemically is as close as it could possibly be to Italian water and they ship it in. I believe it's up in Pennsylvania. Uh, so they ship in their water from Pennsylvania. It's very close to Italian water, but the pizza here is fantastic. It is tough to get a table. I would make a reservation if you can. They do have a walk-up list. Uh, if you don't have a reservation, I would come get on the walk-up list a little bit before you actually want to eat but all the food's great besides the pizza. The calamari, the arancini, the garlic focaccia is, oh my God, amazing. Of course, that wood fire authentic uh, Napolitana pizza. The pastas are good. The chicken parm is so good. Everything here is so good. The wine cellar is super cool. Another great spot to cool off, grab a charcuterie board, a glass of wine, or do a wine flight. Tutto Italia, more great Italian food especially for Florida. We were here at Tudor Italia when it was uh, Italy in the finals. So the whole staff was, it was great. We had the table right by the kitchen. So every time like Italy would almost score a goal, you hear like, oh, and then when they score, you hear an uproar. It was great. We were watching on our phones. Look at all the beauty. Like, come on, are you kidding me? They did a little painting last night. Let's see when they can take these down. 712. Now we can call that number if we want. <laughs> Let's see what's happening in here. It smells good. Ah, uh, air conditioning. Let's go to a masquerade ball. I really want to know how many of these they sell every day. Super curious. You gotta have some handbags if you're in Italy. Love all the colors. Topolino, Topolina. That's very cute. Might have to get that for Lauren. That would look great on our couch. This is a nice shirt. If I could wear white. Well, that is. Literally the cutest little polo. Might have to get that for my nephew. All of them. <laughs> La vita è bella. These are super cute. Visit Italy. I love it. Love the Vespa right here. I totally rock that hat. Ciao bella. Arrivederci. Ah, oh, well, that was a great little AC break. All right, let's head over to Germany.
Ah, there's the music. Here's the trains. Everyone knows Walt. Disney had an immense love for trains. Some would say it's the re reason the parks even started. Take a trip on the romantic road, shall we? We got the river running. One thing I love, you ever come check it out? We talk about it all the time, but during the festivals, they had the banners out that you walk around Epcot, but they put little mini banners here in the village and I love that. The train just came out of the tunnel. That train is moving. Little town, it's a quiet village. Prost. These are some of the most popular bathrooms. Let me be popular because I'm going to say this gets one of the most foot traffic. The restrooms right here in Germany. I really need to finish my Epcot bathroom video. I rank all the restrooms in two categories. The ones that are on the map and the ones that are not on the map. From my favorite to my least favorite. Caramel Cooch. Here we are. No beer stands open yet, but you can grab a beer. I mean, there's drinks everywhere. You can grab drinks always. It's Epcot, right? Come on. You know what we haven't looked at in a while? Is this gift shop. Let's go take a look, see what's inside. It's been a while. If you're enjoying the stream, please hit the like button. Good morning from Epcot. Hope you're having a great day so far and a wonderful week. It's Christmas. Happy holidays. Some steins. Here's the kid caught for Germany. Good morning. So there's a scavenger hunt here in Germany, and this is one of the stops, and you can see these steins do something pretty cool. Here's the cuckoo clocks. Grumpily ever after. That's so great. Just one bite. Everybody knows the rules. I gotta get back to those too. So many things. Not enough time in the day. You normally see Snow White here in Germany, but I also you could see Belle. <laughs> Glenn, have a safe flight. Bum, 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 bum. Mm -hmm. These are cool little pillows. I like them. And yes, I say pillow. Pillow, pillow. Reminds me of Marischplatz. If you know your Disney history, this was supposed to be a Rhine River cruise ride back here. But instead, now it's a giant wall. Another hack, because you know what? I love you guys and I appreciate you waking up and being so awesome with me this morning. Everyone hitting that like button and whatnot. So I'll give you my, one of my biggest tips is that there's a beer cart outside right there. There's a beer stand right here. And both of those are pretty busy. I bet you probably knew that. Everyone loves to get a beer in Germany. And especially during festivals and busy times of the year, they're swamped. The line can be pretty long. But if you walk in here, you can get the same beers right here. A lot of people think this is just for the restaurant or the wait for the restaurant. Nope, you could just walk on back in, grab yourself a beer or a jumbo pretzel or a bratwurst or some pretzel bread pudding. They also have a Riesling and a Pinot Noir, 
of course, are non-alcoholic beverages, but yeah, there's normally no one back here in this line, and they have the same beers as outside. This is the Beer Garden restaurant. I like it a lot, it's one of my faves. You get dinner and a show, and you go sit in Germany, and it's also air conditioned, it's wonderful. A place I wouldn't recommend after too many beers is here. Because there's a lot of things you can break. Seventy nine grand. Yeah, for eighty grand it could be yours. Oh, is it? I didn't see that the doc. I thought it was seventy nine million. That would be I don't know if it would be here. Yeah, I think 79 comma 000, zero point zero zero. Yeah. So a quick 80 grand. I'm sure that's without tax. <laughs> so this stunning piece was created exclusively for the Arribas Brothers at Walt Disney World Parks and Resort. Each piece is encrusted with over 122,800 handset Austrian crystal stones in the pointage technique. This remarkable piece took 459 hours to complete. A limited edition of 150. And this was two of 150. Look at that. So many things to break. I'm trying to avoid walls, can't back up. All of my friends and family literally call me a bull in a china shop, and they're not wrong. This is super cool, too. I like this. This would look great in my house. Huh? All right. Let's get out of here. We didn't break anything. Uh, here at Epcot, you can still do a wine walk. This is one of your stops on the wine walk, but also you could pop in, grab some a German beverage. Besides the wine, they also have some liquors or liqueurs and some beers. You could also grab the Schafferhofer here, the Hofbrau, uh, a Weissbier, the Dunkel. Good morning. Get your German swag in here. Oktoberfest, Prost. I came here, uh, well, I was talking earlier about coming here for my birthday in late August, and then I was going to, uh, actually, that's right. I came here for my birthday even before I was with Lauren, but I was I had a trip planned to go to Oktoberfest in Germany, which is actually in September, and I was talking with the cast members here, trying to learn some German before I went to Oktoberfest. It was great. They were teaching me all the fun things to say. Beer bitter. Danke. Prost. Prost is the most important. That means cheers in German. So if you're having a, a beer or another beverage and you want to say cheers or just like a good day, Prost. There's that warm hug. <laughs> Thanks so much for hanging out with me at Epcot today. If you're enjoying the stream, hit that like button. It really helps. You don't have to. I should say please hit the like button. Where are my manners? And also, please, if you would really love to put a smile on this face, consider subscribing. Hit that bell to hit on all notifications. You won't miss any live streams that are just as wonderful as this. Another nice part about early in the morning, meet and greets. Look at this, no line. This is normally the line, no line. And you can come take a picture and meet Snow White by her well, well, well. Hi guys, if you are coming over to meet Snow, she is going to pick some berries. She'll be back at 10.45. She'll be coming back. Oh my God. All right, Snow White's going to pick some berries. She'll be back at 10.45. I'm no detective, but something came through here. This is the festival booth for your next festival starting July 27th. We'll be here that day. They have a stage here. Normally there's some entertainment. And then also you have your Alps booth as well. So you double up on the booths with entertainment in between. It's a bit of a crowded spot over here, but normally there's some fantastic food. I believe the Schnickanoodlin is coming back. And is that the right way to say it? I don't know, but it's fun to say. So I like to say it. I love that they've added more picnic tables. People need more places to sit down and relax, eat their food. More tables tucked away in the shade, love that. Lots of tables. There you go, Epcot. They're listening. They're learning. I'm telling you, Disney's coming back to the way, you know, let's be real. 
after the pandemic, we had a we had a little rough spot here in the parks, but now we're coming back. I feel magical. I'm I'm super happy, and I'm having a wonderful morning. I feel surrounded by magic. I love that these are painted so beautifully with these big bright colors. This is your face painting spot, a very hot spot. More tables and umbrellas, again, love to see it. If you want to grab a Dole Whip in the park, you can come right here to the Refreshment Outpost. This is where you can grab a Dole Whip here at Epcot. You don't just have to be over at Magic Kingdom or the Polynesian. This is the most quiet it's ever been here in the history of Epcot. But yeah, if you want to have the kids just unleash some energy, you got drums, things to strum, bang, move, bells, ladders. Beautiful morning here. Good morning, All Smiles. I was enjoying this peaceful early morning walk through Epcot. Hi, Pete. Hi, All Smiles. <laughs> Dawn, yes, it is. Apex999 says, just randomly chiming in to say liquid magic ain't the same. Oh, I appreciate that. No ill will, though. I always hope everyone is doing well. Let's take a walk through China. Liquid magic was a lot of fun. But like the Disney parks, things keep moving, changing, evolving. David Lung said, you could afford that uh, spaceship worth if you give up your AP for the next 50 years. Probably more than that. <laughs> Tomorrow, I need that in my house. I'm going to start a GoFundMe. Bill nailed it. Ein Bier Bitte. Two years of German. <laughs> Pretzel bread pudding is phenomenal. Brandy. Matt says, I would love to see Pete in those lederhosen. Well, be careful what you wish for. I don't know if I, I don't know if I know where the hidden Mickey inside the caramel cooch is. I'll have to go back and check it out. Good morning, Jason. Everyone loves the trains, right? All right, I'm going back pretty far. If you're just tuning in or just waking up, hello, good morning, happy Wednesday. We started with a, we started in our, beautiful uh villa over at the boardwalk lucky enough to have a villa thanks to brian and Allie. then we walked over to epcot one in the international gateway came in for early access got to see the park quiet nice and empty still is very quiet and empty we did impressions de france we did breakfast in france it was delicious we got a tour of morocco from jasmine which was pretty cool took a pic with jasmine an impromptu i mean i wasn't planning on that good morning daniel rodriguez All Smiles says, love how informative uh, you are. I had no idea about the Germany River Cruise. Yeah, fun stuff. Left Find, hello, says, hi, I'm new here, enjoying it a lot. Thanks so much for uh, saying hi. Welcome to all the new people. We love having you. Shout out to everyone who's been here, but it's nice seeing some new faces and hanging out with all these new names. Hopefully we meet one day. Brian, good morning. Says it's been quiet at summer uh, this summer at Disney. Yeah, it's been a, a little quiet all year. Uh, all year, I mean, all summer so far. With the exception of the 4th of July. We've seen some, some nice crowd sizing. There was that big rush after the pandemic and the parks were pretty crowded. And it was also the 50th, so it was like the perfect storm. And then, uh, but now it's calmed down. I think a lot of people are also gonna be waiting for food and wine. Let's head into the pagoda here. Hi, good morning, Morgan. Let me get my song on. 
perfect acoustics in here. So if you stand right here in the middle on this dot and look up. Oh, we're away. Oh, we're away. Oh, we're away. Mas quenya. Fun stuff. How, I mean, you got to do it while you're here, right, Bobby? Do what? You got to sing in the middle of the circle. Yeah. Beautiful acoustics. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's like uh, singing in the shower. It's great. <laughs> Except you sing in public in front of everyone who's here at Epcot. <laughs> Thanks for being here, Bobby. Have a great day. <laughs> Look, it's Mulan, and there's no line. Two people in line. And you could come meet Mulan. How cool is that? I'm telling you, mornings at Epcot are where it's at. So this is another great area just to kind of have a sit, get some air conditioning, but this is actually the waiting area for the show. China also has a show here. Look at that. Hearing something a hundred times is not as good as seeing it once. Let me summarize by saying a picture is worth 10,000, no. <laughs> if you want to see uh, some of the concept art, costuming, and some of the beauty of the newest Disney park around the world, Shanghai Disneyland, there's an exhibit in here. The largest castle of all the Disney parks. There he is. Walt, we're getting a new Walt statue here at Epcot, hopefully in a few months. Dreamer's Point will be on the other side of Spaceship Earth, kind of down what I call the spine. Also, we'll be getting that Moana uh, area as well, the water walk. I almost called it the way of water, but that's Avatar. <laughs> Look at this. This is what I love. Moments like this where you don't see anyone around, just some beautiful cast members. I don't know now because Here's the House of Good Fortune. Come on, tell me this isn't cool. Don't you just want to run around, take pictures, dance? Just an empty pavilion. Take in all the little things. So beautiful, man. Thank you, Imagineers, and to those who never stop dreaming. This is absolutely gorgeous. I love the little things on the balconies. Pat Mc75 said, uh, cast member preview start this month from Moana. Yes, can't wait. I wonder if they could take a guest. I gotta hit up some of my cast member friends. Lynette says, great to have new people in here. Please consider subscribing. Always good times. Yeah, I agree. Thanks, Lynette. Big Al is here. Says, hey, I'm new here too. Thanks so much, Big Al. Appreciate you hanging out with us. Terry, good morning. Terry from the Buckeye State. And then Van Dyke, good morning. It was so nice hanging out with Annette a few weeks ago here. Miss Annette and Andy, they're awesome. They were on a live stream with us a few weeks ago. The last time uh, we were at Epcot, I think, or a few streams ago. Annette, a teacher. Thank you to all the teachers out there. Underappreciated. And they do so much for us, literally building the future. Teachers are amazing. Oh, I guess the show just let out. Should we go see the China show? I feel like a lot of people haven't seen it. When I did Impressions of France this morning, a lot of people said they never saw it. Maybe we should go do the show. If that's letting out, that means they should be letting us in. If we can get there in time. Power walk, New York City style. Bum, 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 step and step and step and step and step and step. You see these hips moving right now. These hips are not lying. Let's cut through. Whoosh. Ah, that air conditioning is beautiful. They open the doors. No. No? Yes? Let's see. The 
This says just minutes to showtime. Not a number, just a minute to show. Daniel Rodriguez says, is it hot there? Ha <laughs> ha, that is an understatement, my friend. It is very warm. Speaking of warm, yeah, Brandy says, it looks like it's ready. I think they're just testing. Yeah, it does look, I mean, we've been saying it's closed for a while. Annette's on her way to summer school teaching right now. Yeah, Annette working her butt off, teaching summer school, no break for Annette, and bartending at night, crushing it. Brandy said they were running all the Moana fountains when we were there a couple days ago. You could see it uh, over the wall. That's cool. Shelly says, I need to go to Epcot by myself and leave my people at the pool so I can walk around like this next time. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. Or if you, know, if you don't have to do every ride every day, like I said, if people are going to wait in an hour ride, you know, along with wait, whether it's test track or soaring, and you could skip one attraction, go for a little walk. <laughs> Daniel said, I'm back. I had a quick conference call, new Avengers applications to go through. Love that. Peach says, I'm looking forward to it and hope it'll be open by August 21st when she's in town. Says if it's super hot like it is now, I'll take any water feature. Yeah, I think, honestly, my prediction that it will be open uh, by August 21st. I think it'll be good, but that's just my guess. Ooh, I have a solid so going oh here we go I'm gonna say Moana opens in mid-August So one thing about this show, no seats you stand. The reason for that is it's literally 360 degree screens. But they have these beautiful leaning posts, just like the Canada show, which you might have uh, hung out in there during a festival. Sometimes they stop the film and this is where you hang out and eat your food over in Canada. But yeah, you could face any direction Look at that, almost that 200 likes. Thanks to everybody who's hit the like button. We can hit 200, man. What a wonderful Wednesday. I don't know what I did to deserve this, but you were all amazing. They did update this uh, pretty recently. So it should be a crisper, cleaner picture. I'm excited to see it. This show's a little bit shorter than Impressions. Again, because I think it's because you're standing. Where at Impressions, you get to sit in that big, beautiful theater. But both are air-conditioned, so it's wonderful. But a 12-minute show is perfect. Hi, everyone. I'm Pete. Thanks for hanging out with me today. We're at Epcot. It's been a fantastic morning so far. If you missed any of the stream, you can go back and watch on the replay. I mean, stay with us live. You can always go back. And if you're new, go check out other videos on the channel. We do a bunch of live streams, but also we have edited videos. As much as I love the theme parks and with Disney all the time and SeaWorld Universal, we also do a lot of other adventures, hence the channel name. Uh, we have, we're in the middle of a road trip series where we just did a road trip a few weeks ago and we've been dropping that in pieces. I do fun little shorts. I don't know if you've ever seen Ted Lasso, but I do Ted Lasso in the parks uh, and other little snippets and fun stuff. So go check out some videos. If you watch an old video, as you go back, leave a comment so I know. And I love watching random old videos pop up with comments. It's fun. So yeah, thanks for being here. We're stalling right now. We're vamping. Oh, I think it's showtime. All right, here we go. Hear ye, hear ye. I now declare the show is ready to begin. Those lean rounds for you to lean 
complain against at any time. However, for your safety, we ask that you refrain from sitting on them, as they were not designed to support your full weight. If you need to leave the theater at any time during the show, please use those doors to my right. As a courtesy to those around you, please silence your mobile devices and refrain from eating, drinking, smoking, and flash photography. Thank you. And now, our nine screens will surround you with the beauty of reflections of China. This magnificent country, one cannot help but envision the one Li Chang Chang. The Greek Wall. It stretched like a mighty dragon across 4,000 miles of China. Welcome. I am Li Bai, a poet of the Tang Dynasty. And I have returned to share with you reflections of my beloved China. Like this great wall, it winds like a road across timeless landscapes, but one can also find landscapes that are ever changing. province, 
home to many of China's national minorities. The cultures of this province are as diverse as the landscape, like the Shilin Stone Forest, one of nature's unique wonders. In the far northeast is Heilongjiang. Although winter here can last six months, the people celebrate by carving magical sculptures of ice. Everywhere one sees our history. Ancient treasures like the Nine Dragon Scream reflect our traditions. Dragons were a powerful symbol of the Emperor's authority. For centuries, the tombs of China's emperors have been watched over by these remarkable warriors of terracotta. And these figures of stone. And for 800 years, this intersection of three rivers has been protected by a silent sentinel, the giant Buddha of Nishan. One can find a living legacy of China's past in the world's famous Peking Opera. The center of Beijing is perhaps China's greatest legacy, the Forbidden City. Members of the Imperial Court. For 500 years, this vast walled city was the home of 24 emperors, the sons of heaven. But today, all the world can pass through this gate. Tiananmen Square. To stand here is to stand at the heart of China. Once a playground for the emperor, but now it is a playground for all of China. I have brought you to a place of unique beauty called the Three Blue Cave. The same forces that shaped these pillars of stone have done a more remarkable job directly above us. The landscape of Guilin is unsurpassed in all of China. Countless artists and poets have struggled to capture the unique beauty of this region. The Nile River winds like a silver snake through these scattered dragon's teeth. I once wrote, whoever looks on this, we have seen many reflections of China, but the true face of China can be found in our people. Sadly, that means this is where we must part. But I hope you will return to China someday. I'll wave off the hand now, and I am calm, lowering my head and dream that I am old. Until we meet again, such a...
time, please gather all of your personal belongings and head through those exit doors to my right. Thank you. Have a wonderful rest of your day. A wonderful film. Hope you enjoyed Reflections of China in 360 Circle Vision. So many nice things today. And honestly, this has been great for me too. It's very warm here, but these little breaks we've been taking and films we're watching, it's been a fantastic morning. God bless you. This is a little controversial, but there's so much amazing food here at Epcot. And I don't know if just because I love the Chinese food in New York, but I wasn't the biggest Nine Dragons fan. I know some people love it, but for me, either booth hop during one of the festivals or maybe go to the beer garden in Germany or Via Napoli in Italy, Spice Road Table has been putting out some really good food. Obviously, France has some delicious food. You can go hit the steakhouse over in uh, Canada. Over, I almost said Canada. Canada. <laughs> and now, we have entered Norway. You can see all these strollers. This is where it starts to get a little bit busier. The hustle and bustle begins because Frozen is over here, a very popular ride for families. If you want to know some of the work they're doing here in the lagoon, you can see them putting some pylons in. A new fireworks spectacular is on its way. We have a temporary show right now. Epcot forever. I don't think it's controversial to say my favorite fireworks on property right now, Happily Ever After, over at the Magic Kingdom. Right now it's being performed nightly at 920. We love to talk about different restrooms because it's something that you're going to need while you're here at Epcot. And the ones back here in Norway, I love. For some reason, they're always clean. There's plenty of stalls and for the men urinals but i've never had to wait and it's right there if you're ever looking for it here's the royal summer house where you can meet anna and elsa it's about a 30 minute wait right now like i said kind of from norway as we walk towards the front of the park it gets a little more crowded <laughs> A little magic happened right here. This is where Mariachi Cobre performs right here. You can come watch one of my favorite musical acts. And if you want to meet Donald, it happens right over here. People are starting to form a line. We are now in Mexico. Vamos! Inside this beautiful pyramid is La Cava del Tequila, also the Grand Fiesta Tour boat ride. And it's absolutely wonderful. We go in there on almost every single Epcot stream. So today, I have a feeling it's gonna be a little crowded in there. We'll skip it for today. But if you wanna see it, I think you could literally check any other live stream we've done here. Cause we love it in there. It's air conditioned, it's beautiful. It's one of my favorite places to hang out. Besides grabbing a margarita inside, you can come here to Chosa de Margarita, which opens in a little bit, I believe in about 10 minutes, 
also the cantina right here sells margaritas as well as tacos, nachos, churros. The Odyssey building closed right now, but it will be opening for the festival. There's a first aid station right here if you ever need first aid or any kind of child care uh, needs. This is the place you want to go right over here, right next to Mexico, between the, the Odyssey building and the Mexico pavilion. You can see the booths are coming together in Mexico, which the first booth they viewed in 1996. The noodle exchange I'm very excited about. Also, I love this booth. It looks super cool. If you didn't know, another awesome fun fact is that Disney thinks of everything. So if we're looking at Morocco, when they put up the Tower of Terror in Hollywood Studios, the paint color and architectural style matches up with Morocco. So it looks like that's all one big pavilion. But that's actually the Tower of Terror in the background over at Disney's Hollywood Studios in Morocco right here at Epcot. Super cool, right? Ah, uh, you gotta love the Disney Imagineers. We got 182 likes. We're so close to 200. If you haven't hit the like button, it would really just put a pep in my step. And if you haven't subscribed, oh boy, that would be amazing. And if you want to, I know some people like to ninja watch, but if you want to say hi in the chat, if you're new, or if you're not new, we want to say hi in the chat. We love saying hi. Look who's strolling this way. Pluto's just going for a walk. What's up, Pluto? Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. <laughs> I like Pluto's stride today. We're just having fun with a bunch of people today. It's great. Yes, you could also get some Micheladas. You could also enjoy some crickets. I've been known to have a cricket or two in Mexico. Coach, what's going on? Yes, over in Norway, there's also a history of the Vikings. It's great. You could see Odin and Thor. I know when I say Thor now at Disney, you think the movies. But he was also a Nordic god. We kind of went past it today because I did tell Lauren I would try to be back before 11. <laughs> and I just noticed that it's 10 to 11 and we're still having a great time here at Epcot. But we're gonna keep this rocking and rolling. Show you more things, but kind of start heading back to Lauren because she's not feeling well and I want to go hang out with her. Enjoy a little bit of the boardwalk before we have to check out and What's supposed to be 10 minutes? Oh, whoopsie. Wow. Love they still have some of the flower beds out from Flower and Garden because it really just makes this area look absolutely beautiful. Am I right? I mean, come on, look at this. Look at this. Look at the sky right now too. Oh, you gotta take these moments in. Here's the Hawaii booth. I bet you they have a spam dish. Disney ducks live the ultimate life. This, oh, this girl's fanning off the Disney duck. Sir, do you have time for a quick survey? Um, how do you feel about the wait times in the park? Uh, of all your favorite parks to hang out in, which is your favorite? I mean, festivals here have to be great for you, but also the popcorn over at Magic Kingdom on the floor has got to be really neat. Okay, I can see you're busy, not in the mood to talk. Uh, all right, well, have a magical day here at Walt Disney World. What a life, what a life these Disney ducks have. I think the coolest place to see some Disney birds and animals is over in Canada where we're headed, where you can normally see some Disney ducks, some egrets, and also some rabbits and bunnies. Or, I always trip people up with this question in trivia, what do you call a baby rabbit? A lot of people write bunnies. It's kits. K-I-T.
Australia. I enjoy their food as well. Also, big news, everyone. Throwing it way back, not sure if you heard, no one's made a big deal about it. But here in Canada, they used to have beaver tails way back when, and they kind of just went away years ago. The beaver tail is gonna be back right here at the refreshment port during Food and Wine Festival. It just sneakily made its name back onto a menu. I haven't seen a lot of people talking about it. But yeah, beaver tails were like a staple over here in Canada for many years. One of the best pieces of steak you can get during the festivals are right here at the Canada booth because it's the same steak that they use over at Les Saliers, the steakhouse here in Canada. We are trying to get back to Lauren, but the Canada film far and wide in Circle Vision 360 like China is back in here. We'll have to do that on another stream in the future. The Canada Pavilion is getting a little bit of love right now. You can see the scaffolding up. Also another fantastic picture spot right here in the gardens. And on a future stream, we'll go walk around Canada too, because I love hanging out back there. It's a great spot. Dun, da -da, da -da 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 -da. Thanks, bees. Thank a bee. We need bees. Appreciate all of you. We got some bees in the chat. Beep, beep. <laughs> Dawn's excited for the return of Beaver Tails. Rob Law says Beaver Tails is my new band name. There you go. Moogle says, I never had a Beaver Tail there since I think it went away before I was there as an adult. Brandy says, Beaver Tails rule. They have them at Dollywood Splash Country. We gotta get there soon too. Oh, that's good to know. Lauren, if you're watching, or if maybe she's taking a nap, but if you call the front desk and say you're a little under the weather, they may let you stay a little bit longer in the room, which is nice. So right now they're doing work on the restrooms in the UK. So one of the best restrooms in the park right here, the World Show Place restrooms are the best. If you could ever go use those, they have the AC blasting. There's a bajillion places to use the restroom. You never will wait. It's very clean every time I've been in there. They're fantastic. Take a picture of the telephone booths over here. This is normally where the restaurants would be in the UK. And if you've ever seen our channel before, if you're new, <laughs> you'll see it in the future. But normally, we like to make a stop here at the Rose and Crown Pub. A tribute to all the bees, but mostly Spike. Well, well done, Brandy. That's great. Yep, Dawn, it's an endless row of stalls. Are we blurry for everybody else? How's the picture quality? I just noticed there was a comment that we might be a little blurry. Would you like me to switch it up? Try refreshing, and if it's you refresh and it's still blurry, let me know. I'll switch it up. Blurry? All right, let's switch it up. How about now? Looks better? There we go. Thanks for letting me know, everyone. I'd like to make sure you could see how beautiful this park is as clear as humanly possible. Much better, excellent. Thanks everyone, appreciate it. Celeste, Alan, Moogle.
perfect timing anyway to kind of head back. My uh, undershirt and shirt seem to be soaked almost completely through. And my water bottle, the first uh, 40 ounces of the day, are just about empty. We got a few drops left. So good timing for the first break of the day. This is why I like to tell people, get here early. We walked in at 8.30, left uh, the boardwalk around 8.20. Had a great day. Now it's just a little after 11. We're going to head back, but most, you know, I was here enjoying the day. I'd push as long as I can, but let's say around lunchtime, you wanted just to go back, take a quick swim, a little nap. Maybe you just to save a couple bucks because you had a big breakfast or you're going to have a big dinner. Have a little bit of a cheaper meal at the resort. You are allowed to order food to Walt Disney World. You can do an Uber Eats. You can bring your own food. If you're in uh, one of the DVC rooms like we are, they have a stove, oven, full refrigerator, microwave. Save a few bucks, you know. I don't think anyone's ever said, wow, Disney's so cheap. <laughs> We're going to keep this thing live all the way till we get back inside of the boardwalk because it's such a beautiful area over here. But I would like to just say thanks so much. Again, we're going to hang out for a little bit longer, but really appreciate everyone hanging out with me this morning. It was such a fun stream. We're about 12 likes away from 200. If uh, you haven't hit the like button yet, would love to hit that number on this walk. But even if we way go past it, which would be great if you're watching in the future, in the future, you can still hit the like button, leave a comment. It really helps. We are back in full swing here on the channel. We had a crazy couple months, but we're back and better than ever. It is going to be such a spectacular summer. And I can't wait to bring you more live streams from inside the parks. We're going to be doing a couple home streams. We're going to be doing some cooking with carnies. The edited videos are going to be coming out. I got a few Patreon videos that are coming out. Again, big shout out to all the Patreons. Love all of you so much. If you're interested in supporting the channel and you're able to do so, patreon.com backslash adventures by Carney. Get some exclusive content, access to me. And uh, we also do a Zoom call once a month where we hang out for an hour to two hours and you can ask me anything. We chat, talk about the future, a little bit of everything. It's really whatever you want it to be. And I know some people on the Zoom calls just like to kind of hang out, listen, observe. That's totally cool too. I talked about the Discord earlier today. It's absolutely amazing. It's completely free. It's just a awesome community of kind, genuine, beautiful people. And you can do it from your cell phone, your laptop, tablet. It's super easy. Just make up a name. I would say use your real name or your YouTube handle so we know who you are. And we just hang out. We talk. It's just a great read. Some days I go in there, I just read. <laughs> it cheers me up watching everyone interact. You could ask your theme park questions. Really, you can ask questions on anything. We have a little bit of everything in there. I think we're just around, we got a few hundred people in there. And I'm telling you, everyone is nice. It's amazing. It's crazy that a place on the internet <laughs> where everyone is nice. But I'm so lucky to have that community. It's Adventures by Carney on Discord. You can search it, or there's a link below in the description. Shelly's also been posting links in the chat all day. Thanks, Shelly. On the Discord, you could suggest streams or edited videos. You can suggest or see which merch we have. Again, I think we just have a few of those. I mean, you can call them tumblers. You can call them water bottles. But basically, you know what I'm talking about. Those insulated bottles like this. It's not this one because I'm going to unbox mine live later this week or early next week. We're not sure when I have a few hours. But it's got the Adventure by Carney logo on it keeps your hot super hot for several hours you're cold super cold all, all throughout the day here at disney and what i like is it still fits a ton of ounces because it's tall but it's thin on the bottom where it'll fit any cup holder whether it's a stroller your car cup holder won't take up a lot of space on your desk and uh yeah i'm a big fan of it i'm excited i think it's pretty competitively priced we do it at 35 but that includes shipping to wherever you're at you could uh, go check it out in the Discord. 
you can message Bill also on our website, adventuresbycarney.fun. We have a website. It's super cool. Big shout out to Brandy, Bill, and Lynette, who have really been instrumental in that. If you want to follow more of my day and my adventures between streams, go follow the socials. My Instagram is at official carney. Also, that's my threads. Now that threads is a thing. Twitter is your WDW guy. The TikTok is Adventures by Carney. Same thing with the Discord and the Patreon, Adventures by Carney. Yeah, it's been such an awesome morning. Again, I just want to show my appreciation. I really appreciate everyone hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed it. I have thoroughly enjoyed it. I want to say I've enjoyed it just as much as I'm sweating, which is tremendously. If you're a new subscriber, you just found us today and you're considering it, thanks so much for sticking with us and hanging out. I hope we brought a little bit of joy into your Wednesday. So when we talked about how long of a walk you can get to your room here at the boardwalk, these are all boardwalk rooms. They go all the way down and they turn and go that way. And the lobby's in the middle, as well as all of those rooms above the stores. Those aren't just fake <laughs> storefronts and fake room facades. Those are actual rooms, so it's a bit of a hike if you get one of those rooms. But again, if you have a room facing this lagoon, it's absolutely beautiful. And you're facing fireworks on this side. A little bit cheaper if you want to save a few bucks. And you're like, hey, I could always just walk to the boardwalk and watch fireworks or go into the park. You could face the other direction. We had a fireworks view from our room last night. Lauren was kind enough to record it for everyone. So I'll edit that together. I'll kind of give you an abbreviated version from our room and I'll drop that on the channel. Again, if you're subscribed, make sure you got that bell on, hit all notifications so you don't miss any live streams or any of those little videos or the shorts. If you wanna message me or talk to me, the Discord's a great way to do it. Also a uh, direct message on Instagram or Twitter works. It does take me a little bit of time to get back to everybody. Uh, I had about, I don't know, I try to chip away at it whenever I can. I think I was down to about 250 messages between all the platforms yesterday, which isn't bad because we were up to like over 400 a week ago. So I will get back to you, I promise. I also get back to people on their comments on YouTube. It's uh, leave a comment on a video. I get alerted to that, so I kind of try to respond to those pretty quickly. Again, just want to say how thankful I am. Such a state of appreciation that I get to even do stuff like this, but also that all of you hang with me for it. It's so cool. If you missed yesterday's stream, we did a full tour of the boardwalk and our room. You can check that out. As well as we went back and re-reviewed the beers over at Big River, the brewery here at Disney on the boardwalk. And I was surprised. You know, I was a little, a little tough on me on them review wise from the past, but some of their beers have really gotten a lot better and it's a fun little stop. I'm gonna have to take Lauren there now. Here's the main pool area at the boardwalk, as well as the pool bar, Leaping Horse Libations. We showed you this yesterday. I'm gonna try and come down and enjoy this in a little bit. The Muscles and Bustles Health Club, a great gym. We showed you that yesterday as well. And now we're gonna head up in the elevator. In case we lose service, which I'll stay live for another two minutes or so. Look at this. I've got a nice glisten everywhere. I am sweating. But yeah, like I said, in case we lose service, we're, we're only six likes away from 200. I really would want to hit 200 before we end this thing. Uh, so if you haven't hit the like button, let's hit that 200 mark in the next 60 seconds. All right. Some morning with me. Have a fantastic rest of your week. Uh, like I said, if you're subscribed, we'll be putting out more content throughout the week. And uh, yeah, we're also planning a bunch of meetups. I know a lot of people are gonna be here in August, September, October. So I'm gonna try and see as many of you as possible. 
I love hanging out and meeting people. Also, I'll be putting out a, a new service, relatively new, but where if you want to uh, do a little private tour with me in the theme parks, any of the parks here in Orlando, I have a lot of fun facts, tips and tricks. And you can kind of run me out for the day. I'll be all yours. Uh, it'll be going up on the website soon with my full calendar and my availability. But if that's something you're interested in where you're like, hey, Pete, we just want to reserve you for the day, uh, let me know. That'll be a little service we'll provide because I'm also trying to save money for this big project that I'm very excited about for next year. So any money we could put in the bank to uh, make this large project happen would be awesome. If there's anything I can do for you or any way I can help, again, feel free to message me in the Discord or one of the socials. I'll try to respond as fast as possible. With all that being said, thank you so much for watching today. It really has been such a great day. I'll catch you all in the Discord. I'll see you later on. Go watch an old video and leave a comment. I love, I love when that happens. I say that all the time because it's so exciting. All right. Peace and love. Tell your friends and family I say hi. And uh, one last favor. Be kind to one another. Have a great day. I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.